Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. You guys have asked us to do a war game looking at how effective the B1R concept would be. So I welcome you to the Black Sea. Today we have down here one B1 regional. It was made by our budding development team led by the wonderful CH. Sorry about the bad graphics. It's as good as we can get it to look like at the moment. Eventually it will be updated. B1R. The concept dates back to 2004. The idea was to modernize the aging B1B bomber fleet into the future. They would include replacing the engines with four F-119 engines from the Raptor, giving the Boner a top speed of Mark 2.2, equaling Russia's Tu-160 White Swarm. Also, it would have a modern long-range AESA air-to-air -air radar and 24 of the most long-range air-to-air missiles of the day. So today we've equipped it with 24 AIM 260s. We're pretending it's 2023 when the AIM 260 should be in service. These have a range of around 135 nautical miles. So that is the B1R. We're going to test it in three scenarios, each getting more difficult against Russian aggressors. The Boner will be escorted by, it was going to be a couple of Raptors, but loads of people turned up in the end. Cap, Damp, Grump, Poosh, Simba, Bird, Cannibal, Drop, Violet, War Dog, say hello. Hello, Boner. Hello. 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 Guys, we are here purely to escort the Boner. So we've had to think, how would the Boner actually operate in reality? And we think it would operate alone rather than part of a Boner group. And we think it would probably have fifth gen escort to keep it out of trouble so here is its oversized fifth gen escort it would have AWACS because despite the fact it would have a powerful radar it would still need AWACS support to see more than 100 miles away we are starting about 270 miles away from Crimea war game one hostiles have an AWACS and you can see the AWACS detection ranges by these dotted lines here and four flights a total of 16 bombers the bombers are TU-22 they are attacking a generic target, carrier group, turkey, whatever you want. They are set to defend passively, but otherwise attempt to bomb a fictitious target. They're all at Angels 36, and they are supersonic. Stage 2, we're up in the ante. Instead of 16 bombers, the Russians are now fielding 16 air superiority fighters, the Su-35S, each equipped with 10 R-77-1s with a range of 70 miles and four close-range missiles. And finally, end boss fight is this. It's now 16 modernized interceptors. The MiG-31 BM with the mighty R-37M modernized axe head, six of them, and two R-77-1s. Guys, let's first start with stage one against 16 bombers. And welcome into simulation one. There is our beautiful boner escorted by a completely unrealistic 10 Raptors in formation. First, yes, I've accidentally used the Russian aggressor skin, but I'm gonna leave it because it kind of looks cool. Next, you guys say, don't fly in formation. It'll increase your radar cross-section and detectability. In real life, you're almost certainly right. It probably would in game. Don't worry, I've tested it and it doesn't make any difference. So we will continue to fly in formation. Guys, your ROE is we're here for support the boner is going to do the big killing we are here to protect him if we feel like a bad guy has got into a threatening range like maybe 60 50 miles then we're going to go and shoot them down or if for some reason boner is struggling otherwise just make sure that we don't fly in front of him because we will upset him any questions before we go do we Everybody think the boner else? will shoot all its load at once i have no idea this is literally untested guys in fact i've tested it against four planes but i've not tested it against 16 so I don't know what's going to happen, and I want to be surprised as well. Grump. Uh, have you ever been curious as to why it's the B1R, not the B1C? I do not know. But that's a bit weird, I must admit. Reconnaissance? No, uh, that wouldn't make sense. No, so, of course, they call it the B1 Regional, and this was all an idea from the airmen, the enlisted, actually, huh. to get it to be the B1R instead of the B1C, because, of course, you're already using its uh, its new moniker, the Boner. Yusuf is <laughs> naughty. Why is Yusuf so naughty, Simba? Uh, America? Huh. Um, maintainers? Guys. Hey, at least it's not the B1D. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Don't crash into each other. Don't crash into Boner. First one to tuck the raging boner is, uh, Brilliant. 
Honor Toucher? I'm glad Shock was out. I was gonna say. Is right. uh. Turning left. Is damp recording? Nope. You no. want me to? No, don't bother, guys. Okay, boner is off, Valley viewers. What actually happens here is going to be a uh, surprise to trunk him up. God, he's fast, guys. Mark 1.2. Now, remember, this has got the same engines as the Raptor in it. So, set your planes up to fire, guys, just to get ready. So, it's going to go more heads than fast as us. That's the thing. Keep radars off, I would suggest, until combat. Right, speed, Mark 1.4. That is a boner, Mark 1.4. And in real life, it would have been able to go Mark 2.2. Guy who's out in front, don't do it. Don't be that guy. Touch my sins. I'm gonna try. Don't touch the boner. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you bone R and all the raptors. Oh that is pretty, doesn't it? Wow. Make sure in BBR mode, guys, just in case you've got to crack out the quip. As I said it, the quip. Alright, I'm gonna try looking on the map. Distance to front of I can't work out these new tools. There we go. 200 nautical miles, we've got ages to go yet. So, how would Bona operate in real life? Well, in my opinion, they would load up with the maximum amount of missiles, they would get it up to 40,000 feet, they would charge it in at Mark II to give the missiles the maximum, maximum range possible, launch all the missiles, turn away, and that's how I would use it. Now, it's in control of AI at the moment, and we can't fly it as humans, so how's AI gonna operate it? I guess we're just gonna have to see. One way or another, I expect fireworks. Guys, what kind of speed are you getting at the front there? On your UFC. Mark 1.8. 1.8, boner at 1.8. Said value viewers, don't be worried about us flying in close formation, it will not affect the RCS in the game. Not it's just gonna matter because boner has, boner has a relatively big RCS anyway. It's slightly stealth, but not, you know, not stealth still. That's Don't why I wanted to know if you were recording, Dan, because that'd be a great view. Right, what are you guys up to? Let me guess, they're up to some friggin' stupid. They're yeah. trying to touch the boner. Huh. Don't touch that boner. We're just trying to get it warm. Go to your mother. You know how race cars on a uh, track that really, really close to each other to help each other get through the slip street? They use tow, don't they? Yeah. yeah, it's called uh, bump drafting. Oh, does that work with planes? I wonder if it, no, because you just get weight turb, wouldn't you? So it won't work with planes. Because weight turb's bad what? for a plane, but it's good for a car. Isn't that weird? Uh, no, they've actually tested, uh, tested it. Yeah, it works in formations. Huh. How about that, guys? Geese do it. Save gas. Yeah, the, you have to be of. really close in formation for it to be effective. Yeah, same cars, you've got to be right at the bumper. Guys, um, speed, please. 2.1. Mark 2.1, boner. Gives me a freaking... <clears throat> Boners really love bras. Time when I'm struggling to catch up. Come on. Full chat with the freaking Raptor. I can't keep up with it. Wow, boner is freaking awesome. I can't keep up. I officially oh, can't God. keep up. It's oh, missiles out! Oh, Bang! Aim 260 out from Bona. Aim 262. Two Three. missiles out. Three missiles out. Bona! Mark 2.2. Point He's lower. Low. Exactly as we thought. Offensive missile crank. Follow Thank Bona. You, Follow Bona. He's gonna pop. He's so fast. I'm. Can't, I literally can't keep up, value viewers. I'm full chat in a Raptor, and I can't keep up with Bona. Well, I can keep up with him, but I can't. Look at those missiles go. Let me see if I can get a shot of the missiles. Yes, I can. Okay, they're already on terminal section. I'm going to uh, pull back, so I'm going to hit you guys otherwise. Just pull back. Turn your radars on. There's nothing to hide now. They certainly know the bone is on the way. Alrighty then. Let's uh, try and resist the urge to go shooting stuff unless we really have to. Right, first missiles. I've got a heck of a long way to go. 100 miles to go, yeah. They're off power. They were off power a long time ago, and they're flying. 40,000 feet, which is simulating them being about 19,000 feet due to current game restrictions. This would exciting be. Obviously, the baddies can see Bona. He is not a stealth plane. Not really. And they cannot see us. Not that it really matters anyway, because they're bombers. Yep, so we're still on offensive missile crank. Why does he do that? He do does that to keep him protected from these guys' missiles that they don't actually have. Because, of course, they're bombers. Very good-looking bombers as well. With big guns on the back. Missile out. He's firing again. He's firing on the second group. Freaking heck. Bona best Cranking left. Away, turning left. Oh, hard oh. crank left. Yeah, hard crank. Wow, look at that. Launching again. Another one away. Fuck you, Throw your load, valiant boner. All right, that's eight total away. Eight missiles away. Nine. Nine. Freaking heck, boner. He's doing all the things. Ten. Ten. Cranking right. His radar can track Eleven. over eight targets yeah, at once. 
Finally, I found Bona. <laughs> Bona nuts! He is absolutely blowing his load. I was kidding before, but now it's true. He's gonna pop! He is gonna pop down! He's, ar he's already popping, man. Wow, look at that value view. 12 missiles out before anything's even... Before anyone's within 70 miles range. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Bone R. I should say valued first. Nothing's weird and cheating. We've done everything to what would be publicly available data. We've just plugged in the data from, from, from Wiki, basically. And that's it. There's no hypersonic weird stuff going on. Right, first missiles are going in, guys. These guys set to defend if they can defend. But they are very heavy T-22s. And the chance of them avoiding a AIM-260 at Mark II is pretty much zero. Cracking, oh. right? Okay, so this is going to miss anyway. What's the problem that I'm on Fuel State 3? Uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome to Raptor. I'm at Fuel State 3 as well. All right, God, don't try and catch up with him. He's got infinitely more fuel. Another... Wow, the bombers have just gone down. All fall down. The beautiful thing about Bona, just save you fuel, guys. We can't keep up with him. Is he carries so much fuel, he can pretty much fly around the Earth. Raptor is not designed to fly around the Earth, and we can't keep up this power. A Raptor can go in full power for about 150 miles, maximum high up. Look at the boys, they're still following him, though. Well done, guys. I'm committed. Simba's going to the end. Fuel, but yeah. Sucks in vain. All Bona needs now is a drogue so he can refuel us at Mark II. And everything would be perfect. Right, oh, that would be pretty cool. Right, I'm going to concentrate now. We've got a bunch more missiles out. These are the, the 9 to 12 missiles. Another one away. Yep. 14. Bone, you're absolutely nuts. 15. Much of the I should say, Valley Fuse, he's not 16. using Cranky his radar. Light. He's firing these on data link. So the guidance for these missiles is actually coming from the, the AWACS. Kind of cool modern technology. Okay, they're in the, ter in the terminal phase again. Oh. Limo. Oh, Just take one. Um, that's a Raptor problem. Not designed to do this kind of trek. It can glide, right? Uh, yes. No. Um, fuel state two. It's very pretty if that helps drop. Uh, Box three drop. out. Uh, yep. We fired another one. Good man. Yeah, why is he firing few? still? Another one. Is he, he's Should we go ahead and start firing? No, we don't need it at the moment. There will be. You, there Thank will the... be needed in the later things, but you, there's no need to defend them against bombers, guys. Okay. Unless he runs out of ammo. Another four bombers down. Man, this is sexy. Yep. Hey, next guys, look at these beautiful clouds. They are pretty nice, aren't they, Drop? Uh, oh, damn, there's too many of you now. Just If I could just give you numbers, it'd be so much easier, you know. All right, I'm not going to be able to stay with for his last four launches. All right, guys, just uh, save your fuel. Um, Uncle Sam will be very Violet upset out. If, we all, if we all don't make it back. And Uncle Sam's kind of Sorry important. turning back home. Right, so so far, has anyone got a count of how many is fired? I count 16, but I may very well have that wrong. No, he's at... I'm a glider. He's at 20. He's at 20, so he's got four more missiles left. You said... Oh, oh, another one. ran out of fuel. Jesus, Godspeed. He's just firing another four. God, he's going nuts. AI with boner is friggin' sex... Oh, Jesus Christ, he's going so far. He's firing his last four missiles, valued humans, and he's fired them friggin' aggressively. Boner, go for the AWAX too. Found someone who can finally take on Cortana. He's he's all aggression. Oh, and he's diving as well. Look at that. I am diving on you. Still staying in that code nine. <laughs> right, so I think he must be Winchester, guys. Alright, next bunch of missiles going in. You guys suck. I've got fuel state 21,000 pounds. But I am like 50 miles behind you. Obviously, we were going to win this one, Valley Viewers, because the bombers don't shoot back. But as proof of concept, pretty freaking good, especially for a first run. Watching these bombers die. Oh, I think the missiles have missed. I love these M260 Valley Viewers. 135 miles and date link guidance. Makes them. Wow, oh, one. Two. Three. And. Sunk. Bang. Another four down. And finally, the last ones are going in. That is all 16 bombers, if these hit, are going to be dead. And Bonus probably used about 3% of his friggin' internal fuel. Carries like 200,000 pounds of fuel, something ridiculous. Wiggle your nose at him, sir. Wiggle your nose. Wiggle your big toe. One. Two. Three. 16 bombers down. Now that is not bad from one aeroplane. One aeroplane, fair and square. In reality, we actually would have been shot down with his S-400s. So I didn't think we would get so close to Crimea. But good proof of concept. Anything before we move on to stage two? Is Bone dead? Bone is dead. Bone is dead! What happened to him? No, no, he's still up. Oh, I still am. Enfield 1-1. All right. Uh, I'm any... dead. 
uh, guests, uh, whoever you are. Uh, any comments before we move on to SU-35 Air Superiority Fighters? Can you send a tanker my way? Uh, we'll think about it. And welcome to stage two. We're now against 16 Air Superiority SU-35s. This is going to be much more difficult. Guys, do the same. But one thing we've learned already is that Raptor cannot keep with B1. We don't have enough fuel. We've got to go high up to 50 or 1,000 feet, just a standard chance of having enough fuel. So no more formation flying with him. I'm going to unpause and let's see what happens. So let's keep noses cold for the first little bit, but otherwise uh, set your jet up, please. Start heading up 50,000 feet, stay on current vector. I won't get many F3s this time because we're all going to go separated a bit. So Bona has enough fuel to do 36,000 feet. Raptor does not. Remember, we've got a tiny amount. We've got twice, sorry, we've got half the amount of power but only 10% of the amount of fuel. Do the rough calcs and you'll know that, you know, we've got zero chance of being able to blow this guy. So already we've got a mismatch in how Bona could be used in real life. It really has to operate pretty much on its own and rely on its speed rather than Raptors to defend it. So that's an interesting concept. Well, you could say maybe you could give Raptors bags to increase their endurance. Yeah, agree. That said, it doesn't increase its endurance massively and it can't go Mach 2.2 with bags on anyway. So no is the answer so we've immediately found a real problem with uh, escorting mr bone r all right guys i'm at 50,000 feet raptor's gonna get beautiful fuel consumption up here can bone r fly at 50,000 feet maybe but the mod that we've made i don't think it will so if it's anything like it's Are uh you? it's counterpart b1b uh it was meant to be low to the ground the b1b had low so engines high altitude. It, yeah not so much. Yeah, fair comment. Are you yeah. a full burner at 50k or not? I am, yeah, because it's the only way we can keep up. If we can keep up, to be honest. Maybe we should even be slightly ahead anyway. Obviously, burner is not stealth, not really, and SU-35 with its piece of radar, we'll see it from a long way away. Let's go and have a look at SU-35s. They are going full combat. They've definitely seen it. They are speeding up to mark probably 1.6 that we Right, where is he? Uh, I can see the is. B1 uh, conning. <laughs> Let me have a look. He's out in front of us. God damn it. He's, we're full chat in Raptors and he's still out in front of us. This thing is fast. No. You can you can keep up with him in the beginning of Burner. He tops out at one point at 2.19. There he is. Look, there's Bona down there. God, he's so big. Bona, you're so freaking cool. You're saying it's a big boner. Uh, I am literally saying that, Grant. I'm going to try and get past Mark. Here's my problem, value viewers. I can't get past Mark 1.9 up here, and Bona is going Mark, probably Mark 2.2 already. That's why I think it's got to operate independently. I don't think any fighters could keep up with that. Bear in mind, fuel is the thing. Wow, the uh, super flankers are pretty upset. They are going to kill him. 140 Mark. He's going to be firing soon. Let me know when you start seeing firing, guys. Oh, there we go. To aim 260s out, 130 miles. And God, he's going for a loft. He's lofting him. Look, look at that. I am lofting you. Does that to extra range on the missile? Wow, it really is lofting. He's fired again. AI in Bonar is the best thing I've ever seen. It's so aggressive. And offensive missile crown. We like the cans. Those are the missiles going up into the Gee, friggin' strats. Did you see how he lofted there? There's a good chance they're going to go wrong yep. now. They might not actually work. You can't loft GR missiles. It's a kind of restriction we have in game. Never mind. We'll see how it goes. Right. Baddy Waddies are well out of their range. They carry R-77-1s, uh, which have a range of about 70 miles. So they are way out of range. They're going for loft now. Look, 53,000. He's down. He knows what he's doing, guys. He knows he's what he's doing. He knows what the threat is. He's programmed to know what the threat is. Look, they're, the baddies are over 54,000 feet now because they want to loft their missile, but they can't get the range on Bona. This is brilliant, guys. We can carry on flying, guys. We can fly right up to them. They won't see us until we're 15 miles away. Where he goes 45 and only 800 on the ground. Everyone's overtaking him now. All right. Yeah, I see yep, him. I've backed it's off. It's because he's gone defensive. It's because he's gone to... Uh, oh, he's firing again now. Look, it's because he's doing an offensive missile crane. He slows down to reduce the firing distance of the SU-35. And he's firing another four. Best AI plane in DCS? Maybe. He's also got self-protection jammer, guys. How well that will be against a piece of radar, I don't know. Probably not very. Okay, first missiles are rolling in. Also, distance. He, they're in range to fire at us now, guys. Let me just see if this first missile strikes. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to order you just guys to start firing. No, it looks like we're going to get the hit. Look, that super flank is going up now to 
start firing. And he's got the warning. First super flank is about to go whacked. And whacked you are. Bang! First hit. Oh, more are coming in now. Let's see if this guy gets taken out. So this screen is set to date link. We can see whatever's on date link and you pretty much would be able to do this in a Raptor. You'd have a real date link screen and you'd be able to sit and ask questions where stuff is. Stuff like that. Is this gonna hit? First flight of super flank is out, guys. Well done, Boner. That is one that's escaped. Guys, I need you to get on a vector of break. Zero, three, six, and shoot that guy down. Zero, three, six, it's a singleton. Probably. He's got through, he's aimed for 50. Cap, nose warm. It looks like there's a aim 260 on him already. Uh, just... Yeah, it's a slow one, it's dead. Cap firing now. Box three. Woohoo! Protect my Boner. God, this sounds weird saying that, but that's what it is, guys. Can't demonetize me. Right, how is Boner doing and where is he? He's below me. Another one yep. away from the bar. Uh, yeah, yep, go on. That's my boy. Pang. Pang. He got down to mark 0.9. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's jamming their DLZ. Right, I'm supporting my missile onto my baddie, and I'm actually slowing down now because I'm getting too far ahead. Stuff and things are now happening. Happening, Guys, another critical threat. The closest one on the right is now Dodgy's missile at 0, 5, 6. I'm about to get a kill. Socks on it. Socks on it. Yeah, he's got through. These are Fox proper fighters. Right. Can smash one? Fox through. All right. Yeah, Bona needs help now. They're get all getting through. Die, you horrible old super flankers. Bang! Face. This missile is dead. Look, it's down to down to Mac One, which is basically useless for a missile. Look at it trying to wiggle. Yeah, it's no good. Front guy is still unopposed, guys. Grump's gonna pop, prosecute third back. You're gonna pop, is what you're saying, Grump? Yeah, I need to sometime today. Um, uh, sock, are you Just taking that close, guy? That guy that was on the right. He's notching now. Big man's firing again. Right, two aggressors, two aggressors in the air. I'm gonna look at firing on the left aggressor. All right, you leave my B-word alone. Okay, Fox 3, get some. So cheating in a Raptor. They can, we can fire them and they can't fire at us, but you know what, I'll take it any day. That said, if I get within 20 miles, he will shoot me down. Oh, yes, there's a missile on that guy. Violet Fox 3. Oh God, he's... yes! One more to kill, guys. I've got to turn out combat. I think my missile's gonna hit him. Yes! Last guy down. Right, let's go towards Crimea, guys. Well done, everyone. Right, bonus firing again. God, bonus is an absolutely mad man. Hates life, just wants to kill. Very aggressive young man, very aggressive. God, he's just, he's rippled more than four off. He's just rippled eight off. You nutter. Is there a safety switch? Yes, there is. Left console. This is a master arm. Got it. So much to watch. Okay, M260 is going in on the front rank. Real good set of M260s there, guys. Well done. And smack, smack, super flanker. Bang, you're dead. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. How many more have we got to go? Okay, they're coming in one big stream now, guys. So just one at a time. Pang them off. Raptors can now freely engage at will. I think Bone is probably out of ammo. So uh, engage at will. No, still firing, but engage at will anyway. I think he's probably shot his load now. We're on Fox 3. Safely say with uh, showing the efficacy of Boner, guys. Push Fox 3. Aria tier 8 value viewers, everything is set up 50 50 as accurately as we can to open source data. So the results should be good. Okay, someone is going for Boner. There's a guy at 60,000 feet. Prioritized guy at 60,000 feet. He's found Boner. He's going for a long shot. I'm too far out of the action now. I'm just going to be cameraman. Oh, good not sure. I'll give you that. This guy, this will kill him. Nothing could dodge at 60,000 feet. It's even a super flank who can't dodge at 60,000 feet. Bang! There's no air up there to dodge with. And these missiles don't Pilot need... These 260s, by the way, values don't need air. They don't use their fins to dodge. They use, they use a kind of, kind of vector thrust. It's what makes M260 so freaking powerful. Oh, there's a whole the new one coming. still racking up the kills. I wish I could see how many kills he'd got. Oh, oh I should have installed the friggin... No, it wouldn't tell me anyway, doesn't it? Keep punching it, guys. Keep punching it. It's got to be out of ammo now. It's got to well, be out of ammo. Well, he's killed everything but two. 
Ha! Huh. Oh, he's into this. What's he doing now? He's gone down to the deck. He's RTB. All right, we'll clear up, guys. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if his missiles wipe all the rest of them out. And he's in the frigging mess waiting for us with a cheeky smirk. Another kill for the B1. He will be getting, definitely be getting the chicks today, guys. There is bang. There's zero doubt about that. Splash has 235. Run and violet. Pang. Pang! All dead! All set We're up on, fairly and squarely. Point. I really thought we were going to get, not creamed, but I thought we were going to have losses. Did anyone get shot down? Do we want to go for the AWACS? Uh, no. yeah. No. Come on then, guys. We still have another one to film. Okay, we've got another yep. one to film. Uh, guys, that was just worryingly Copy. good. I don't know what to say about that. In fact, I'm going to have a quick look on Tackfield on that one because that was interesting. Okay, viewers, just for the lols, we could all see what happened, but let's watch anyway because, let's face it, it is pretty amazing. Okay, Boner goes friggin' nuts at break. 125 nautical miles, weapons go out. Chang, chang, chang. Smack, smack, smack. Dead, dead. 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 Another bunch out from Boner. Bear in mind, we're not firing yet. Look, Boner lofted this. Look at that. I wonder how that survived. That went to... I think it went to 100... I don't know. It went really high. And it worked, which is strange, because it shouldn't be able to do that. In fact, it probably missed, is the answer. No, it didn't. Uh... It killed yeah, the huh. first number on the small box is the altitude. Yeah, it's weird. It went to 120,000 feet and, and didn't lose guidance. Don't know. I don't know. These missiles are complicated value viewers and getting them to work is actually really hard. It just smashes them. Again, at this point, I say I say the baddies are getting too close to Boner. So guys start firing. The guys just go nuts at that point and send everything out going everywhere. Pang, pang, pang. Missiles out. I don't even know why we're watching this. But shows the devastation of B1 and then Raptor if things get a little bit tight. And so also, we now know how to have the fuel to stay with him. Waste. Say that again? So it just shows how much money we're willing to waste. Yeah, right. So far, we've done bombers. They were easy. We've done air superiority fighters. They were harder, but we still killed them all without any losses, which still surprises me. Now we're doing end boss interceptors that are designed to shoot down bombers. And that is, at the end of the day, a freaking bomber. It's big, it's heavy, it can't really maneuver, and it's gonna have giant 160 mile axe heads thrown at it, probably. Guys, three, two, one, punch it. Right, we're going high again. That's definitely the thing to do. Don't hit Boner. I think you'll agree, humanoids. Did you say uh, I'm not allowed to touch your Boner? Ideally not. So many jokes I'm going to make there, but don't want to push it too far. Hey guys, don't run out too far ahead, because then you'll be what gets shot at. We won't no, see we, we won't. They won't, they won't see steamy. us. They can't see us until 15 miles right. away. We're invisible. Hey. You know what? Go charge ahead. All right. I'm not even I sure we can get ahead of him, start. Simba. If I'm honest, I don't think we can even get ahead of him. Oh, you, you, got, you guys got about 20 miles ahead of him. Have we? Hang on, let me yeah. assess that. Once yeah, he... we, we accelerate mad. Okay, we've got a much better power to weight ratio, obviously, by a factor of like 10, so... Alright, I'll give you that. And just like, so the last mission, he started notching and getting down to 0.9 mark, and you guys... Looks like somebody's going to space. I want to go to the moon! Yes, you do, don't you drop that? Ah, oh, words. Words Bird. Very hard. Mind your mind tonight, Cap. Bird. Yeah. All well, this morning, Why not? I don't know what's going on. Why not? I can't help it. I'm just a young man. No, I'm not even a young man. On the plus side, bonus all good, all right? All right, let's go see where the baddies are. Hello, baddies. Okay, we can see the first two flights on Datalink, and they are very, very right wing. Look how angry they are. Oh, I'm angry. I'm MiG-31. I've designed to be angry in every way. Look, I will intercept you. Designed for one thing, one thing only, really. Getting up, getting high, getting fast, going a long way, and launching really big missiles. That is MiG-31. Now, interestingly, America never really had a... I guess they had their 14. That was kind of... Yeah, they had their 14. That would be their equivalent, wouldn't it? Get up, get high, get fast. Launch really long missiles. Now, isn't it interesting how you, you Russia, kept to that idea, and they're still doing it today with MiG-31, upgraded versions of it, but America no longer do it. Not really. You're all over the place. What joystick are you tugging? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm keeping him just off my nose. I'm keeping an eye on him. That's a good idea. So I'm rolling yeah. so I can keep visual. He's out in front of all he's of us, guys. He's in front of all of us, I yeah. told you, he's so fast, guys. Also, remember, this allergy, we're not making our full power from our F-119s, but it saves fuel. It saves so much fuel. It's, it's, we just have to do it. Valley Viewers said, uh, sorry, yes, the Valley Viewers said that we, currently, we burn our stealth coating off at one Mac 1.8. Anyone think that's true? I didn't think that was true. Maybe I'm, that's I'm getting nailed. I thought it was F-35. 
Yep, we're getting nailed like sons of bitches from that heavy, heavy great radars. These have got huge radars in. A bit like, whoops, a bit like top. Why is he diving? That worries me. I think he fired. Oh, thank God. I haven't seen. Uh oh. There is a missile in the air, and there is nothing we can do because we can't tell B1 to turn around because he's frigging AI. Axe head in the air. Now. So, can we go nose hot? Yes, go nose hot. Fire, do everything you can. Uh, words, stuff, things. Right, I'm going straight into combat. Oh, God, We're still 160 miles out. Yeah, that's the problem with frigging axe heads and true interceptors, Violet. They become problematic. My radar and RWR has been absolutely nuts. Yeah, getting massive things. Okay, I've got them at 130 miles. Or something. I'm going to fire as soon as I can. Do not see good things in our future. Let me check on Bona. Bona's firing. Bona's firing. Come on, Bona. Come on, Bona. Oh, my puny little radar went locked. Raptor, get better radar. Can we lock onto their missiles? Nah, no, I don't think so. The game allows it. Cap, Fox 3. Who's Fox 3? Fox Suck on that. Pilot Fox 3. Not everybody Fox 3 at the first target. Yes, actually, it's yeah. common. Let him. We just get so emotional, Simba. <laughs> you just scare them. We'll, we'll clean it. You and I will clean them up after. Good news is, uh, Bona realizes he's in trouble is an offensive missile crank. That will reduce the range of that axe head by about half, which is important. Somebody's got a jammer. Yeah, the jammer. It's going to be a problem. I'm going to box three on home on jam. Miguran Russian Design Bureau saw fit to give MiG-31 a massive suitcase of a friggin' jammer. Which is annoying. They're going really fast, guys. They're going like Mark 1.9 or something. Oh, and he's lofting up for a big shot. Oh, you hate you oh, so I'm much. Mark 2.3. Leave our boner alone! Yeah, they're jamming. God damn it! I hate end boss fight. Yeah, it's my, fine. my missile's Damn. gone. My missile's gone duff. How do you do I the home on jam? You just lock you one of the ladders it. and fire. Lock one of the ladders and fire. It may not work. It may or may not work. Yep, I think we're more oh, lost our uh, boner. We lost our boner. Where is it? Yep, it's been shot. God damn it! All right, clean up, guys. It's a one-sided fight. They can't see us. Sons of bitches. They shot our boner down. We'll clear this flight up and then we'll head home. There's some things Bono can't operate against, it looks like. Right, first so missile. That's why they kept the MiG 31, so. Yeah, yeah, they kept them for a maybe, reason, maybe if we sent fighters up first and then the boner came in like five minutes later. But what's the point, though, Dan? I'm thinking about this when I'm setting the mission up. What's the point of doing all the work for the. for the? I know what you mean, but. And the other 31 thing. 31 down. The other thing is, could you really get fighters ahead of the boner? We've already seen how fast it's going to operate. Yeah, one yeah. big down. I, I, I don't think, I just don't think it's feasible, realistically, to get a fighter out ahead of a Mark 2.2 plane. They're dodging our missiles. Yep. It's also their jammers as well. They're really powerful jammers and stupid planes. Right, I'm going to start her firing at home on jam. Home on jam, buddy. Yeah, lock on the far left home on jam. My jam. Home on jam. Right, home on jam. Well done. These missiles can fire against the jammer valued viewers, but they fly really inefficiently. In fact, it makes an AIM 260 be as good as an AIM 120C, for instance. Because it's oh, I got a good. visual. It doesn't know how to lock. Drop box three. Box pound Drop down. Splash one. Well done. All right, guys, we're going to do this one kill and then we're going to turn around. Okay. All fighters. Some uh, splash two. We've uh, done proof of everyone. High tail it, split S, and high tail it back home. They won't have the fuel to. Uh, uh, attack as valued viewers. A lot of you, uh, some of you were complaining why Foxhound didn't go Mark 2.5 uh, in the last mission that we did. Uh, they did, but only once they accelerated, and they only accelerate when they detect they've got enough fuel to do the hit, if that's what makes sense. So they won't just go Mark 2.5 all the time because they were trying out of fuel. So at least AI has some sort of common sense. Right, let's go home, guys. When I say go home, Grump, what did you think that means? Grump has no interest in us. orders. So, valued viewers, while we're uh, RTB, we need to talk about this. So, Bonar against uh, a fleet of bombers is brilliant. It can take down all the friggin' bombers with its AESA radar, with AWACS, with AWAC support, and it didn't it didn't need Raptor support at all at that point. Against air superiority fighters with kind of 2010s uh, missiles like the uh, R77-1, again, it was impeccable. It needed our help to keep it safe, but it shot down. What, 14, 13 of the 16 guys did bloody well and was perfectly safe and then RTB. But as soon as you put it against a proper 2020s interceptor that's designed for one thing only, and that's to shoot down frigging bombers, it just can't compete. Its missiles are just too long range. There, they fired at 
Oh, 100, because everything was perfect parameters. The B1's a big target that they could see from a long way, moving fast at high altitude. They were fast at high altitude, whatever that is, 36,000 feet. They were Mach 1.82, so they were, they were very fast. They could overshoot the missiles 175 nautical miles, 210 statute miles. There is nothing you can do against that. And B1 just couldn't dodge him. He's not a fighter. Look at that, he turned. He turned, he rolled, but he's not a fighter. And there's no way you could dodge that. So I reiterate, against bombers and non-fighting targets, B1R is excellent. Against air superiority fighters of the day, it's pretty decent. Against true bomber interceptors, it's basically useless. I think that's a great, great outcome. You guys, what do you think? I think if they are able to fix this thing to where it's uh, not on the ground most of the time, it, it could be a capable bomb truck, or a missile truck in this case. That's one thing, isn't it? It's very expensive to keep a B-1 in the air. I still think the best thing that a B-1 can do is air shows. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, it, it is the unofficial sound <laughs> of freedom. No, that's... No, no, no. Official sound of freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, big airplane means big RCS. The whole idea of an intercept is to try and catch something at its furthest point away. A high-speed, big RCS airplane is going to get picked up and shot at quickly. So what about a B-2 with all these as a bomb truck? A lot of you want us to use the B-2, and I struggle to use the B-2. I struggle to use the B-2 because it's very uh, controversial. The radar cross-section of it is very complex. Someone who has open source information but is also known behind the scenes has explained to me how it works. It has a variable RCS. Now, a variable RCS causes problems with us. I'm not quite sure how to use it yet. So once I figure out how I'm going to start using B2 in game, and it's variable RCS, we'll, we'll worry about it then, I think. But that's a fair comment. But B2, and it will upset Americans, is not that stealthy. Even on its full stealth attack mode, it's nothing like a Raptor, and it probably will get picked off. It's not what you think it is. Um, I hope to see Boner again in the future at some point. As we work on it and get it more developed, I'll see you later.